Jimmy Chevrolet. It's a car owned by Ernie Irvin. Here again is what happened. Well, it looks like he might have been tagged by a car, Jared. There was a pack of cars running together, and then it gets backwards, and, and you see the spoiler sticking up there. The air gets under it and lifts the back end up, and then it just starts rolling over in the grassed area on the back stretch here at the Michigan International Speedway. Fortunately, it does not get over into that guardrail, but that's a pretty serious-looking crash, but it lands on its wheels. Different angle again for that scary crash here in the early laps looking across the racetrack you see the rear of the car starting to get off the ground you'll get a sense of actually how high this car will lift here as it came off the ground and begins to tumble higher than some of the scaffolds there where our cameras are located well jerry the speeds have increased so much here at the michigan international speedway in the last couple of years and in, and in this race in particular goodyear has some awfully good tires now that are running faster and the speeds are up quite a bit here and some were concerned that maybe when these cars got backwards like we've seen them do at talladega and daytona that they just might have that flying effect and here we go on the first second lap